The fiasco in Philly that you've got to see to believe. It was brutal. The Leafs are going to open the playoffs in Boston on Saturday night after a total collapse that certainly drives home Sheldon Keefe's comments that Matthew's quest for 70 is a total distraction right now. The Canucks clinched the Pacific Division title. Even more importantly, they got some huge news, and the Jets clinch home ice in the opening round of the playoffs. Lots to get to, so let's get to it. Okay, we got to begin with the fiasco in Philly. The Caps needed a win to clinch the final playoff spot. The Red Wings needed a win and a Caps loss. The Flyers needed a win and a ton of help. Let's start with the Red Wings. Dying seconds against the Habs. Detroit down by a goal, just seconds away from a loss, and their playoff hopes would be over. Then this happened. Back to Goss's bear. Up top. Rajou score! Wow. They did it again! Oh my Detroit God! Detroit stays alive! Unbelievable! Are you kidding me? Peral the hero with just five seconds left. The single point by forcing overtime kept the Red Wings alive and officially eliminated the Flyers. That was 9.33 p.m. Eastern. Why is that important? The timing is critical. Because a couple of minutes later in Philly, the Flyers have already been eliminated because the Red Wings forced overtime. But John Tortorella, apparently unaware of what just happened, so he didn't know they were already out. So Flyers caps tied at one. Tortorella thought he could keep his playoff hopes alive if they could beat the caps in regulation. So he pulled the goalie with over three minutes left in the game. And TJ Oshie graciously accepted that gift. Through center, it's Oshie. Oshie working wide. Fires and scores! So the caps clinched and the Red Wings were officially eliminated on a completely unnecessary empty net goal. It could have been an incredibly dramatic finish for both teams. Instead, because Tortorella didn't know the situation, it was completely anticlimactic. It was a crazy situation until uh, till tonight. And uh, uh, Sergei just told me Detroit uh, get a point and uh, they still pull a goalie at that and all that. But, you know, we'll take it. Thanks, really. <laughs> you know. Well, were you getting info about the status of the Detroit game or was that were you solely focused on this one? I, I got info on the Detroit game right after they scored their empty netter. I think it I happened I think it happened pretty close together. But I was pulling them I'm pulling them and that was the right time to pull them. I uh, didn't know anything was going on with Detroit at that time, but immediately after that uh, our video guys told us that Detroit just went to overtime. So, the bottom line The Wings missed the playoffs for an eighth straight year, and after missing the playoffs last year, Spencer Carberry leads the Caps to the playoffs in his first season as an NHL head coach. No matter what anybody outside this room said, I'm so proud of this group. Congratulations. A great moment of celebration for the Washington Capitals. All right, let's get to Austin Matthews' chase for 70 goals. And after taking a 2-0 lead over the Florida Panthers in the first period, the Leafs completely collapsed. They gave up four goals on a near NHL record setting 29 shots against in the second period alone. The Leafs were clearly desperate to get Austin Matthews a 70th. They even pulled the goalie with over two minutes left in the game to give him every opportunity to score. And he did come close. Matthews standing in front. Ronnie finds him. Matthews in. Has him down. Puts it back in front. The puck stayed out. How did Austin Matthews miss? In the end, nothing for Matthews. The Panthers added an empty netter, and they clinched the division title with the victory. So they'll face Tampa in the opening round of the playoffs, while the Leafs will open the playoffs in Boston on Saturday night. Will Austin play tomorrow? Uh, We'll talk about it. We've got 12 healthy forwards. So all the matchups in the East are now set. The Leafs get the Boston Bruins, the Panthers, and the Lightning in the Battle of Florida. The Caps now get the President's Trophy winning New York Rangers after all that effort, and the Islanders face the Canes. In the West, huge news for the Canucks. After missing 14 games with a knee injury, Thatcher Demko made his return. 39 saves and a 4-1 win over the Flames to clinch the Pacific Division title, and Philip Peronik had a message for the Flames. You have holidays in two days. Kyle Connor had a pair of goals and a 4-2 win over the Kraken. Their seven-game winning streak means they now clinch home ice in the opening round against the Avalanche. By the way, Winnipeg 3-0 against Colorado this season. The other three matchups in the West have yet to be decided. 
And there you have it. Everything you need to know with just two days left in the NHL regular season. You've heard from me. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think of all that happened from last night's action?